hello friends welcome back to momentum stocks in this video we are going to discuss about nifty bank nifty and i am going to give you one stock for buy and one stock for sell for tomorrow's trading session that is sixth it's an expiry friends april the sixth so friends the stocks that were actually taking nifty up nifty and bank nifty up were hdfc HDFC Bank, ITC, Grasim, Sun Pharma and HUL along with Tata Consumer Products friends. And talking about the stocks that were actually taking the market down today were these stocks that is ICHR Motors, M&M, Adani Enterprises, NTPC, Indusind Bank, Apollo Hospital and also SBI. These were the stocks which were actually pulling the market downwards today talking about nifty bank nifty complete bullishness upward momentum and both nifty bank nifty was seen in last few days friends now from this area till here it is continuously going upwards now can it continue to go like that without any retracement i don't think so so what i feel is in tomorrow's day if i'm drawing a fibo from recent top to the bottom you can expect some kind of a retracement that can be till 23.6 level or till 38.2 level and then there can be a further upward momentum that's what i am expecting from nifty bank nifty what do we expect when do we create buy positions buy positions would be created at 17,460,487 in case of nifty and 17,399 400 to be present uh, to make it round figure where we can keep a buy position handy the reason is below that we have a small or a very small stop loss and our target would be the top and even above that now what is important here that you have to notice above this level there is a gap friends so possibility of breaking that gap is little difficult in one go that is the reason i am telling you that it can retrace till these levels is what i am feeling coming to bank nifty same story it is also an upward channel just like nifty and from where it took its rejection here today towards the end of the day that is exactly the level where it was on 10th of march friends that was a gap down followed by downward momentum and that's exactly where it has faced its rejection today now similar story we are bullish on it but can it continue to go up like that the answer is no it has to take some retracement so it will retrace till either 23.6 levels or 38.2 levels or 50 percent levels which is at 40411 in my opinion the best place to buy would be at 40411 the reason is simple at that particular stage it has got a very strong support zone you can see the support zone friends and once this support zone was crossed it never came back it continuously continued to go upwards now after it retraces till there that is when it will continue to go up and break this resistance and go further up friends now there is one more thing that can happen on tomorrow's date that is simple it can go ahead and give you a gap up with a gap up just like a gap down that it gave here okay it will give you a gap up here similar gap up and start trading from here itself in that case you will not go ahead and create buy positions because there is another resistance at this double top okay from there is what it will reject and this time it will cover the complete gap and that is when we'll keep our resistance like this friends we'll keep our fibo like this and wait for this or this level for an upward momentum that is how we would be trading in bank nifty i hope i made it very clear coming to today's stock performance we had given kotak mahindra for a buy you have seen that kotak mahindra took exactly its 50 percent or 50 percent rejection from here and continuing going continued to go upwards actually the fibo was like this so it took its 38.2 levels here from here it continued to go upwards okay and now if you look at it it is exactly at 23.6 levels and from here if you see it breaks this particular trend line here 
you can go ahead and create a buy position for the top as a target coming to our sell stock which was in fee see in NFI it gave a breakdown here at the resistance level which also happened to be the 38.2 levels okay it gave a breakdown there and at a retest is what we have entered and it came till 1 is to 1 and went back to 0 friends we are still bearish on the stock so we can go ahead and wait for this resistance line, line to break and then it will continue to fall till this bottom that we are choosing we will be taking our exit a little below before that itself however this was a stock where target or stop loss both were not hit coming to the stock of tomorrow see we are choosing hero moto Corp for a buy simple reason it sustained the gap and continued to be above those levels for the entire day so the consolidation stage is where it is right now and in the past if you see that is exactly where it has been taking its resistance see this area i'll just draw that area for you so this area has been acting like a consolidation level for hero motor Corp. now as soon as this area is crossed you can see target subsidy up to 2512 friends i am talking about some 80 to 90 points upwards from here that's how it can perform after breaking this particular support zone one can as soon as it retraces a little what are the zones where we can create buy positions for that we are putting a fibo from recent bottom to the top see this would be the best place to buy where we also see support zone okay somewhere here 2405 but tomorrow it may not give you a chance to that area so at the break of this particular upward trend line okay we can go ahead and create buy positions for the same target which i have given you which is somewhere close to this area friends okay coming to the sell stock we are choosing bajaj fencer for a sell multiple reasons friends reason number one if i am drawing this trend line you see there is a clear break of this trend line followed by a retest okay let's draw this trend line like this so this was your breakdown followed by a retest and downward momentum and that's where it is right now second thing today you might have seen that nifty bank nifty are positive and bajaj finserve was continuing to go downward after making a double top pattern okay that clearly suggests that it is in a sell side or a sell mode reason number three you can see this is in a downtrend and how much is the retracement is the next question from the reset top which is somewhere here if i am drawing a fibo you will see that it is exactly it has taken rejection from the 38.2 level it has just crossed that level and taken rejection and continued to come downwards so with all these reasons is what we had selected for a sell for a tomorrow what would be the target first target would be 1275 second target would be 1261 final target would be 1234 and 1225 will we achieve this last target in one day i don't think so but eventually if it continues to fall is what we would look for that kind of a target i hope you like the video if you did please hit that like button also subscribe and share it with your friends family members basically anyone who is looking forward to make money from indian stocks friends Thanks for watching and wish you a profitable expiry.